Yeah. We're going to call the meeting to order. We're going to start with our pledge, and then if Commissioner Patton will do our invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Father in heaven, we approach that throne this evening thanking you for everything well with us as it is. We want to thank you for the privilege you've given to us to live in this land. We pray, Father, your blessings on us tonight that if we make decisions, that we'll make them for the betterment of our community and that we'll do things that would be the best for the citizens of this community. Give us wisdom and knowledge, but give us patience as we make these discussions. In Christ's name, amen. amen. First item of business, the approval of minutes. Move to approve the minutes of past meeting, regular and special. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, see now aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is bills. Make a motion to pay the bills. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, see now aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. No old business this month, so first item under new business is water systems. When do we have to have this done by? We can no longer use United Systems unless we are upgrading to their new system, December uh, middle of December. Of when? Middle of December. December, okay. So it's kind of for the January. Right. So I guess you're wanting this an answer really quick, right? Huh? You want an answer pretty quick, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> this is our billing system, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Which one do the you and the girls in the office they use this thing? Which is there one that you'd like better than the others? Um, I mean, we're used to United Systems. So I don't know, but the other ones I watched, you know, they're proposals. Have y'all re y'all reviewed the systems and look at them? Just me. I did. Just me. Just you. Well, you do more of it than the other, probably. They do a little. I just like to say whatever you all would like, I think that's what we'd be happy with, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, but the, I can't see the price there. Here we go. <coughs> what are they United at? Systems is most expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Thirty some thousand dollars. That's what I was getting at. This, which one is this one? It's eighty five hundred. That one's just the initial cost too, the thirty thousand. There's like a five thousand dollar monthly fee. Use United Systems. We don't pay that now. Did Center Town have one day? Center Town affords for both well, yeah, use Munilane. How many are on here, Jill? Two or three? Four? Three. three different ones. Edwards. I didn't see Edwards. I saw UPM. I saw Edwards. Edmonds. Edmonds is the very back one. Yeah. Back two sheets. It's when you said it was 8500 Kevin. That's their initial fee. Yeah. yeah. I wish there was a total left or somewhere. Is there a total somewhere? Total? Well, it all depends on. I saw this one for United. Yeah, it was 30000 total bill. Yeah, but the other one, I don't and see I don't a total bill on the other. This one says annual fees is ten seven. Oh, yeah. I saw this other one. Annual fees are 13 That's United. My personal opinion, we ought to table this. Well, well yeah. yeah, we're not going to make a decision tonight, but just for some discussion. But. Well, I've never shown me where this multi-link. I don't see anything on multi-link. I've looked at these three. I mean, they all seem really good. I know, I know you've used designers. That's not really what I do. Okay. Have you looked at the others enough to tell what do you think you might like one? The only thing is that we get, like, the property taxes and all that. UPM, I've got a system that's got four pages. They keep the records as far back. 
Dead man. Well, you oh, mean? I bet you this is Edmund. You know, like right here. Edmund is the back one. Yeah, but it's a they stage that got separated. Well, mine. Here we go. Three years. I've United Systems or? Mutilink. Huh? Mutilink. The Edmund's in the other one. Edmund's in the other one, is that what you're saying? That's where I think, though, we ought to let anybody go for over three years without paying our city property taxes without doing enforcement. Have you checked with other cities to see what they use? Or is he, or he uses Mutalink? Forza does. And they were the cheapest, weren't they? From just eyeballing it. All the KLC have a recommendation on something like that? They're familiar with Mutalink. They're familiar with all of them. But I would <coughs> entertain a motion to table it, though. Just I'll so we, because we're going to have to talk with a whole lot more. Make a motion that we table this. But you've got the information now. If everybody start reading. I'll second that. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second for the discussion. Was the favorite thing right now? Aye. Post same. And that when do we have to have a decision on this? Uh, probably pretty quick. I'd like to in August. Okay. This I kind of wonder when the other one runs out. They're, they're only valid. Thirty days. This starts their bid right now. Yeah, but that's but that doesn't mean. That doesn't mean. Okay. Next item, Nancy. You got it. Okay. Good. Okay. Go ahead. She's trying to come up here or talk up. You're going to have to come up here and talk up. You're going to talk louder. I can't. I can't. He's going to try to resolve. He said it's not what Bob says. No. The first section that we have in there is all, is all the notes that I've made on that. It's our uh, minutes where we pass the bill uh, for the terms and definitions, sign regulations, and establishment of districts. What we really needed to hit on a whole lot was our signs and business district as to what uh, could go under conditional use, what didn't have to anymore. I mean, it was uh, quite a bit. But we didn't change a whole lot other than that type of thing, and that's all written down in there as well. So I've got that for you. I've got a copy of it. Uh, the sign regulations is a state law on the signs and the changes of it. One of the major things on that was political. So that's why I'm trying to get this through there because uh, we've always just tried to get the people to come in and work with me. Well, now I can't determine what somebody's put up that's political because I'm not supposed to read it anymore. So that's going to make a big problem. So really the state preferred that you just uh, say anything that's going to be up 40 days before an election and seven days after election or stating uh, the first of one month to the end of the next month and uh, you call them incidental signs and as long as, as they're under three square feet I don't have to do anything and they can put them on the road if they want to just about <laughs> except you're on state highway so that's they don't they can't put them on our right away no I know I, that's what I was saying so that's going to help because that would help me if you all say well that's in our right away so you've got to move it but uh, I always made them move back a good distance because I didn't want them blowing out the road. And I didn't want those metal frames and stuff left somewhere and then somebody run off with the tractor or lawnmower and throw it up and, and hit somebody in the eye or put a tire out. And I just thought uh, that I'd try to help avoid that. So now I can't really govern it too much. So I was going to, we've got new regulations we we're doing and I'll just have to say that people are going to have to tell me they're doing a political sign. If they don't, I'm not going to really be able to do anything except to, I'll have to look at it to know who to contact.
to say you need to come in because your sign's larger and you've got it too close to the road. You don't ever want it at intersections. You, you know, never ever want them right at an intersection, and that's where I'm using. Usually yeah, people just think they have free gratis up here in Midtown to okay. line it up. I'm like, they don't care that it's... Well, see, the state at one point got a hold of me, uh, State Highway, and said, what can you do about them putting them right on the side of the road, such as the intersection of 69 and 231? And I said, I can always tell them not to do that. And they said, we don't want them there because they're causing us a problem. What's left there, we're running over it and mowing it. You know, yeah, because nobody ever comes back and so gets they those. Did, they by did. law, they're supposed to. Is them what? They started taking the next day. Well, by law, you're not supposed to put them in a state or city or yeah. county right away, but that law doesn't matter. Well, they started, they said, we just, can we just take them? I said, yeah, just take them. <laughs> so that ended that. We do that, don't we? They were getting them. <laughs> and then uh, there were some other places where signs were picked up, and it was by them, and, I, and of course, everybody thought I did it. And I didn't know what sign they were referring to or anything else, so... Uh, but that, that refers to any sign, not just a political sign. Right. Any yeah. of them in the right-of-way is yeah. illegal. Yeah, but they weren't the political signs not to be there because they're on those little metal rocks. Yeah. So that's gonna, that'll take care of itself. They're not going to let it happen anymore. They're just going to go ahead and take it. So, uh, and of course, they've been doing that for a while after I said, yeah, let's take them. So I'm going to have to ask <coughs> and just... Uh, get you all maybe to get this through so we can have an ordinance for political signs, which is which you'll see that in our sign regulations in here. Um, and and I, the person that I had helped me with all this is the trainer for uh, planning and zoning issues uh, for, for Kentucky State. And he, I've known him since I've been in this like 23 years, so he decided to help me, and I appreciated it very much. He knew I needed help. That's what it was. Uh, so, we've got to do that, and that's one thing it has to go through, and then I really need some help because I need to make sure that we do some of the updates on the business districts, you know, that they're now more in line and up to date. Instead, of the, the old ones were 91, so it's time for change. But uh, that, uh, then you're, you know, the, the terms and regulations that are in the back, very back one. I'll, as I update it through here, anything you all tell me that you want to maybe have me rephrase it, redo it, or whatever, then I'll update those also to go with that. Now, the uh, main one of the main things that I did because we had a problem with health centers, drugstores, pharmacies, and different things, and doctors' offices, and all the stuff where everything can go. So I looked everything up and I've got it in writing. And I made a change. And anything that's a, what you would call a health clinic, that's going to be doctor's offices together with pharmacy in it or x-rays in it or anything. You call it quick care. And I, I, uh, that, that would be one of the things that I would consider that it needs to be, it needs to be in without having to go through all that uh, stuff to get it there. Because I have doctors that move into places out there here. I don't know it because the building's already there. You see, so if it's fair for them to be able to do that and a pharmacy just go up because the building's already there, then I think others should too. I have somebody might want to put buildings in here for doctor's offices and be real. I don't see any reason to make them go through, if they got the space, if the lot's big enough for the parking and I can look at it and tell how, I know how many parking spaces they have to have, I make them go through the state department get me that approval from the state that their plans are go with the state and I don't I don't see they need to go through them. So right now anything medical takes conditional use? Well they shouldn't have to. I know but that's what it is now it takes yeah. conditional use. Yeah but I but you don't if you just going into an existing building. You see so um, if they're going to build a new building I don't think they should have to either. See I let fast pace come in. See didn't see a thing wrong with it. And then if you keep doing it the other way, then I would, we would have to do that under conditional use. It's just another business. So I did make that change. And then under conditional use, it would be inpatient. That would be nursing home, 
hospitals, anything that like overnight. That, everything that I found when I pulled it up on the internet is a statement between inpatient and outpatient. One's clinics, the other one is uh, hospitals, that type of thing, which are usually always under conditional use, and that's correct, you know. But it's, they're usually in a residential district when you get the conditional use form. Uh, so, but they should be, because they're so lar large and different things, but they're inpatient, and that would be your nursing homes as well. So, that's what I was going to change in that one, and that's a big change, because we haven't had it that way, so y'all have to approve it, or not. So, there's just different things in there, and I wanted you all to look at it, and then maybe have a meeting and decide to tell me what you want, so that I can update everything. Because my board, uh, they approved everything that, that we had with me making updates and told me, to say, I said, well, let, tell me what you want and stuff. And they said, well, you already did it, so whatever you think. I said, don't, don't do me that way this time. <laughs> don't tell me whatever I think. I said, I need your input on it. And they said, well, you can make the changes. And I said, I'll only make the changes that I think they should be with Tara Ward working with me on them and approving them too. So she's worked with me all the way through this. So they said, okay, and, but, but don't come back to us. We're okay with it. So now it's the cities. And I've, I've uh, taken this to Hartford and told them they needed to give me instructions on what they don't like, and what maybe they do want, what they want clarified, and then said it's time for me to get back and meet with you and let me know. So. I'd like to get this through because the political, all the new political needs to be done on the signage. You can't read a sign anymore. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's what the, that's what a new law came through. But it's been a long time since that law came through. And we went ahead and we were doing it because we weren't, I, like I told him, that, that really suited big, big cities more so where people were fighting over churches, having signs up over here and over there and stuff, and they didn't want them, and they didn't have a time frame, they had to get them down, and uh, like we have a problem with yard sale signs, they were having that with some businesses. So we just didn't have that kind of problem, we still got to follow that law, so uh, we're updating all that to, to go along with that. Which will make it, we almost don't know how to, don't really do the political signs unless the person comes in and tells me that they want uh, want me to tell them where to put their signs. Well, they can't just put them anywhere, can they? They have to ask the permission of the landowner, don't they? Well, with this, uh, yeah, it has to, if it's private lot, but I said that was a problem too because you also have private lots right down 231. I agree, yeah. but if it's somebody owns it, they can't just go stick their sign up. No, there. no. No, that's just, but I can't tell them that now. I'm not supposed to read it. <laughs> so, that's so stupid, I think, but that's the way it is. You don't read the sign, you don't read the content, and uh, at one point, one place in there it said even, even uh, though it may be a, a foul language or something, if you don't have a, a city or, or county ordinance, ordinance. To, to take care of that, the person taking care of signs can't. So... It's going to be a lot worse, but find some way to do it. I usually figure out something, but I think I went on to, uh, um, I went over to Bess's office, and I told him that, and I had written out already what, what we have now, and I clarified everything as good I could, as I could, but I couldn't put this <coughs> new ordinance in it because we don't have it yet, see? So I thought if I can get that, then I'll go over there and take what I gave her back and replace it. And uh, a new lady is taking care of that right now because Bess is always just giving me everything so that I know how to contact somebody, the phone numbers and everything and what they were running for. And uh, this new lady, she, I asked her for some information like that and she gave me the names of everybody. And she, I told her I really needed to know uh, if a person had one in their primary, then they can keep their signs out all year. <laughs> So we don't have anybody that does that because they're going to lose their signs. Because by the time they stay out here in storms and rain and the yeah. cars going past them like this really fast, they're going to 
Nobody sees them. They quit looking at them after yeah. a while. Well, I think it's irritating sometimes when you have them just all over the place. And people get tired of seeing them, too. So if they do, they can, they can go ahead and put them back out now, which I never had anybody do that. They went right ahead with the 45 days prior. I've What's never had the concern? Problem. What's the order you should go I'm just behind. What, what, what are you trying to do exactly? To put Update or find regulations. To, to what, though? Well, that's all the things like that. What, what, what's the problem that you're trying to fix, I guess is what I'm trying Well, because to. I can't read the signs to exactly go after a person and say, you you put this here and you did this, and now you've got to come in and I've got to tell you where it goes to keep it safe, to move it back. And political signs, we always had them come in, and uh, if they had a sign that was over six square feet, six, you know, six, uh, 16 square feet, I'm sorry. Uh, then they had to do a, a permit for that sign because of the size of it because I had to make them take it back 15 feet at least. Mm -hmm. So normally they stayed right under that mm -hmm. and they still had to move them back. What kind of ordinance are you wanting to put in place? Like just to be able to read the signs? And no, I can't do that. Or just no, just will be how to work it now that I can't read the signs. Just be to update it to make it match with some of the... Politically they still need to come to me. There was just a lawsuit in Arizona that... See, they have changed a lot of the stuff. A fee when they come in, and then they have to sign a paper that I've told I don't them. Can you mark the door and do what they want to? Nothing. They other than basically, they do that anyway. I know. That's exactly what the law It's to make sure the signs are picked up after yeah, the election. It's a, it's a surety that they don't know there can't be. And that's a fever dam ordinance? Harder than beaver dam. Okay. Yeah. Just that they know if they don't get them up, I could keep it and playing and zoning, but I've never kept it. Because I can get a hold of them, get it up. Okay. They want their they want their check tore up. So yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to do it. I was just trying to understand what you were just trying the problem that you were just trying yeah. to fix. Yeah, it's just a new, under new law now that you can't read the signs to know. Well, it's it freedom of speech. When she trying to see what your issue was yeah. and what you were trying to fix. When you talk I about just not understand what the issue law was. And, when you talk about can't read it, what it says is any, if you do any kind of law that, uh, say a real estate sign, you can't, by re what she means by reading, if you can read on there it's a real estate sign, you can't do something specifically for real estate. Okay. Because that's what she means by not being able to read it. Uh, yeah, there's a, you can only, you can do a sign regulation that has to fit all signs regardless of what's on them. You don't, you don't read them to see whether or not they come under this ordinance or not. See, you used to, I could, and I could do a billboard. Billboards were totally different. Had to have a much different setback and a, and a space. So you're just trying to find the work around that. that I have to. Somehow. So what I have. So they're not up all year long. So they're not in the right of way. So they're not. Oh yeah. That we have a lot of problems with them, especially intersections, even on private property. Mm -hmm. At an intersection, it blocks visibility on cars coming in. It's a safety issue. A lot of it. Recently, I had a business that's been earlier that uh, these people never wanted to permit their signs, and I had a problem with them. And so they moved to a second location, and I told them, I said, y'all need to do your signs, and oh yeah, yeah, my husband does that. He doesn't do it. Let's put it that way. He come in, and then he went back out and was supposed to continue. They put a sign right in it, right in an intersection, right in it, and I just went and got it. So then I get in trouble. But I thought, what are they going to do to me? I said, you're going to cause an accident, and I'm not going to be responsible for it. Because they could have. They put it right there in the corner of that property. Well, you know, private property, they're, go they're going to be able to put up anything under three square feet uh, that they want to. Okay. And now that's going to be probably we could consider that at any time. And no permit, right? No, yeah, no permit. Okay. But the property owner has to agree to have it up there. Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But see, I don't, I don't ask that. But even with, either. that bothers me, even with the property owner's permission, you'll have your streets looking plumb nasty in no time with all yeah. these signs advertising every little business in the world up and down Main Street. All you know, you try to do something to make a community you want to be proud to live in, and somebody's going to find a way to trash it up. We can't be uniform anymore. I can't keep it in a, like, exactly everybody trying to do the very yeah. same thing. And I had, had done that pretty well. But if you leave them up and you get into a storm type area like we have in the past, <laughs> they're going everywhere. 
Now, you think they're going to go find them? Just like yard sale signs, they won't go get them. Well, and that's another problem we have, the yard sale signs. Everybody putting them on the power poles. That and, is illegal. That's, just, that's that a that federal paper. law, but they'll put them up there anyway. I put that, on, I put that in the paper two times a year at least. And everybody's saying that. I, I said, well, I had it in the paper and stuff. I don't get the paper anymore. And they're probably telling me the truth. Well, that's... Yeah. So I don't know how now to get that out to anybody. But that's what I've got here. Um, just a few clarifications and mainly that about the signs I wanted you all to know it okay. that that's what's going on right now and I can give anybody a copy of, uh, of that if they want it anybody want a copy of the new regulations or something I can give you copies of it yeah go ahead and give them all one so we can have it yeah, they're online. <laughs> to read with this all right so this is another project we've got to take care of huh? yeah and if you, you know whenever you get through that and get I'd like to do it. I'm trying to get everybody to get through this, you know, so we can get that ordinance. But it just took so long to work it up. It wasn't quick. <laughs> it wasn't quick. Okay. It took me a long time to do this. So. And that's what I've got. And if anybody wants to look at that front section, you can see what I did with our fellow Elvis that I had it done. I had it in the paper. Um, for our, for our hearing for that and or when we passed it and all the things you know about it going with our comprehensive plan I have all that written in here for you so you can see that as well and then our minutes they're not signed yet until this Thursday but they're in the very back of the front section okay. any questions Hartford Muriel has to agree. If they have a difference and we don't, then we still have to agree. Can't no, be. They can be different. They can be different. Yeah. Okay. I want to make different. sure when I. Yeah, but uh, I haven't really had that happen. Where uh, they've all you've always come together okay. on some stuff. I've forgotten how that what worked. But you can. Well, I'm not planning on it. I just <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean that. I'm just saying, but you can. Okay. Uh, it can be, this one says Hartford's ordinance, Miriam's ordinance, if it's something, and it just be that specific thing, not the whole okay. ordinance. Well, I will get out of your way then. All right. <coughs> Jim, do you I don't want me reading that, do I? I think be going pretty good. good. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in fine shape. Kevin? Well, I did have one. Huh? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I had one thing. Uh, Sandy had a complaint from a person, and she got a hold of me last week, and okay. it was about the pond down at the park. She didn't like the way the lady didn't like the way it looked. She didn't. She wanted it stocked with fish, which we can't stock it with fish because the water goes up. The fish go right out into the rough river. But there are a couple things we can do. The only problem is the the thing that we could do probably to help it the most. One, we can clean it out with backhoe. We can do that, get a backhoe, clean it all out. But uh, one thing we do is put an aerator, I can't say that word, aerator fountain aerator. in that will circulate. The one I picked out was not the right one. They called me back today. Uh, the one I showed you was not the right one. It is a different one. It's, it's actually cheaper than the one I picked out, which doesn't surprise me. And, and uh, it is made to clean the pond. And it's cheaper, and but the only problem is, as I, we, Larry and I were talking before, because I just found out about it before I came, it has to have 220, and we do not have a 220 line down there to the uh, de the dock that we have down there. So we'd have to run a 220 line. There's another cost that we have. But all told, lights, the, the, the timer that shuts it off automatically at night, the... System, everything, $3,425. I don't know of any aerator that cleans. It's going to take a this guy out. cleans it does. Now, and, I don't, and I'll show you the if picture. If you have dirty water and you pick it up and spray it, it's going to be dirty water. How, how, how do you clean that? That don't make sense. No. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to have a filtering system for it to be pumped out. Exactly. This thing, he claims, this guy, this guy claims, this is it right here. That's the one he, he recommended. It has a huge pump on it. 
and it's got a filtering system on it. Okay, okay there, so there is a filter. filter somewhere. It has a filtering system on it. Do you have to just take it off and clean it every so long, about once a month, he said. But if it's already dirty, you probably do it more than that. Yeah. Start with, start with. But he said he said it's not hard to do and it's not hard to maintain. So, so if it's got a filter on it, you're fine. I, I, I didn't well, think it's the a filter on problem it. you're going to have is you're never going to get that pond clean because the creek feeds it. Yeah, because it, it's going to come up and the water's going to rise. Yeah, so the creek does. You talking about the one right now? Yeah. yeah. The railroad creek feeds it. Yeah, the railroad it. creek it backs yeah, up might, into it. Why don't you get your big one up and get your big screen system to put up there and mud? It still ain't going to happen. We already get complaints. That's the, the only, that's the only, that's the only alternative. No, I have. And it was $3,425 total for everything. Even the, even the 220 line mm -hmm. that runs from the pump itself to the dock. Well, that would make the water not be so stagnant area. It would need the oxygen in it. It has so lights. Good to do. Oh, it, they change it color. would look good. And they change color. The, it does change color at night. It would probably be a good idea to do it. And we'd have to deal with it. Let's get a estimate on that 220. We'll have to cut concrete. It had to be bored under the building. So you're talking, I'm just going to throw a number out, $10,000. Oh That's why I didn't say let's do it. I didn't make a motion to do it because he yeah. told me it would probably be too expensive to do. Well, like I said. But you get a creek feeding it. I mean, you ain't going to be able to ever keep it clean. And you know, somebody complains because it's dirty. We hear how it's dirty, but my God, don't you spend any money of our tax money yeah. to fix it? Yeah, I know. I get it. And I, I'm just, I, look, I did my due diligence. I went and found out the best thing I know to fix it. And that's the only other alternative we have. Uh, I didn't, didn't like being told on Facebook that, oh, Kevin Davis is going to fix it. Yeah, well. <laughs> how am I supposed to fix it? You know, well, that, you but, know, the retention type pump. Yeah. Use that magic wand to build it in. We got Wish it. I had one sometime. Have to deal with it in the future. Well, I mean, it's a good I idea. Like look pretty. Most it places don't have anything. They just have. It's a pond. I mean, would there be any way of putting circle instead of doing all put some kind of circulating pump in it? Just put some kind. Oh, of that was twenty five thousand dollars. The the circulating system that cleans mm -hmm. and. No, I'm talking about. I'm, I'm just saying, if you put some kind of like some of these ponds, you see where people dump some chemicals in there to break stuff down. Let it just circulate. It's $25,000. Yeah, because you have to have a recir recirculating pump, you have to have a recirculating pump, a filter, and then you have to have a system that you clean out so it's all got all the stuff. Then you have it's to meet all the federal and state regulations on. Yeah, it's not wildlife. cheap because we looked at that. Recycling centers. Even the one that you're talking about, you'll have to have a purchase of both. Yeah. And, you know, so. Well, the, the fire department has one. I thought we could use theirs. <laughs> that was all the man hours. Well, like, <laughs> I mean, it, it, just, it just adds and adds and adds. I, again, I'm not, I'm not saying we, I, I did not say, look, I did not make a motion. I brought it up because I want everybody to be aware of it. And I want everybody to know I did try. Well, I just don't think, well, I don't no, think don't I do could that. do that. No, I'm saying for some people like that. Yeah, well. In this well, day and age, nothing's going to be. You just have to realize you're not going to please everybody. And somebody, you just have to tell them no. Yeah, and this is one of those things where, would it look great? Yeah. Is it going to clean the pond like Larry and I talked about? Probably not. No matter what we do, it's not going to clean the pond. But would it make it look better? Yeah, it would. But again, it's not going to really definitively clean the pond. So. Think of it is you could put a fountain out there that does nothing but just blow water up in the air and they'll be thrilled to death. That's, that would be the first, the first one, but it's one. more yeah. expensive. It doesn't do anything but just shoot out water and air, but it's more expensive. But it shoots it way higher too. It shoots it maybe a mile. Do you have anything else? That's it. Okay. I got two items we need to get. A, well, three items. First of all, I'd like to go ahead and uh, we all know Larry's retiring at the end of July. Still true, right? Yeah. Twenty-three days. <laughs> <laughs> So we need to go ahead, and if, if y'all don't mind, since as of right now we don't have another meeting planned before the end of July, let's go ahead and I would like to entertain a motion to promote Mr. Travis to city superintendent effective August 1st. So moved. So moved, yeah. I think we could do that. So one of you will do that in a second, right? I'll, well, yeah, I'll, I think if <laughs> Charles wants to do it, I'll second it. I'll, I'll move, he can second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. He's, he's been acting on motion the passes. last week anyway. I mean. Um, it bossed me around a lot. Uh, he might have to move down on your end. Well, yeah, that's 
see the vehicle we bought. Larry, so we, I got two more things here. One, before we do, we have to have a close. We do have to have a close session to discuss some litigation. But I've got to need approval to uh, file this notice of lien. It's code enforcement lien uh, against the property owners Margaret Belford, 211 North Main. It's the house here on Main Street, next to where uh, built in her. Uh, yeah, this is CB and Zora Emery house. Oh. We finally, in fact, we have another lien probably next month because we've got a bill against where we went there and mowed it. But uh, so the lien will be the maximum we can do is a fifteen thousand dollar lien based on our ordinances now because for code enforcement. But I would like approval to go ahead and uh, file that fifteen thousand dollar lien. I move to file a lien on the property. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Opposed, same. The next one is a notice of lien to be filed against Jack Marano, Marino. He lives in Owensboro, but the property is at 102 Maple Street. And again, it would also be a uh, $15,000 lien. It's down this way. Back here by the, our father's home. Oh, or father's oh yeah, home, I somewhere that's where it was. It's grown up pretty bad, and he just. They come in, he come and paid a $200 fine, but he didn't clean any of it up. So the fines kept going on. And technically, his, well, Margaret's was up to $167,000 if we do the ordinance. You know, we had the ordinance is $200 a day, and it goes, it keeps going by day, but we can only cap, we decided to cap out at 15000 on code enforcement. We're not doing this to try to take anybody's property. We're just doing it to get them to take care of their property and clean it up. Uh, his would have been up to 36400 Again, we do a cap of a 15000 I'll make a motion. Follow it. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, stand by aye. Uh, opposed, same. Motion passes. What we'll probably do here in another month or two, we're going to have about three or four, or maybe five of these. We may come in and just go ahead and file enforcement on and ask for a commissioner master, a master commissioner sale. Okay. Don't forget Andy. She got. She had something she wanted to do, and I, I, I'm coming. Well, I thought you. I didn't think you had anything. No, yeah, no, no, he was just waiting. Oh, you just heard go. Oh, okay. I let her go. You had to be a gentleman. I shall be nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. You sit over and just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just hope you're not lying. There's that being nice. I'll go call my wife. She'll take care. <sighs> I was just thinking the same thing. Just clear this out. That's right. We've. I was in a meeting in uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, a couple weeks ago, and this is a sign that was brought up. I was thinking there was only 20 of these, but I found out there's 200. This is two, uh, I think it was 285 of them across the country, across 50 states, which is BMWD's Brotherhood of Maintenance Way Employees Division, and we're part of the IBT as well. I wanted to see if y'all be willing. We're just trying to stick up for veterans in different places, and I'm going to try to get some more made up for the area. And they asked if I would, if people would take one, I was the only one to raise a hand out about 150 people to see if, if y'all would be willing to stick it up out front for somebody for better in the park. Come down to the park and take them out to the park. Well, I don't even care if they put one out front here. Uh, well, that's why I say uh, we should have got more than one. I, mean, yeah. I, well, can get, we, I can get more I can get more of these made because I, I would like to try to see because what they're doing, they're trying to bring out the Union Park and stuff to try to, in the communities as well, for the better stuff is we have a lot of better work for the for the union <coughs> we're trying to promote and it's something that hasn't been done and they just started doing it and well, they've got a couple around the county already they don't have those but there are a couple of better it's well we had approved some here and they were supposed to get us some from the well there are two signs i think you know out in Owensboro, but they never got them the two faces well, at the park we could but those comes out and you get a lot better what we got places and for veterans yeah that's I, I parked the one, didn't know what other one. Uh, it, it's the railroad. It's a, uh, the railroad. I worked out the railroad. The entrance right there. Okay, so there is a veterans one. I didn't know it ever got put up. Down here? It's kind of complicated. It's like, I'm going to go down there. Didn't realize I did that. I was going to go down there. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a veterans up in Hardy's got a veterans too. Mm -hmm. well, but I mean, I told him I said, yeah, yeah, two more. more. Yeah, we'll. Yeah, only thing, only thing I, what I need to do, if y'all don't mind, y'all putting it up, you just take what they want to do is they're, they're making a law to put stuff out. Whenever y'all are trying to put it up, somebody just take one picture and then later on, 
I'd come down here and get a picture of me and somebody, whoever wants me in a picture, if I can send it to them. They're making a magazine a different for the union. People to show what's going on, try to show support, and try to get more stuff out there. Because yeah. to be honest with you, veterans are not supported as much as they need to be. No, they're not. That's right. Thank you. Good. And I, I told Andy we wouldn't have a problem with this, but he would believe. I know y'all yeah, wouldn't. That'd be the problem right there. Sorry, I, I was trying to be. <laughs> he knows you. Hey, I'm gonna call Amy on you. New generation take care of it. Hey, new generation take care of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 but like I said, just need leave two more. I'd yeah, I would. I would. I, I, I told I'll, him I'll, I thought see if we get some more. If I don't, I'll, I'll get them made. What I'll do is I'll take. I got a picture of it. And I'll just take it and I'll just see well, about. Don't pay for it yourself. Well, I'll get back from you somewhere. <laughs> they're the one. We're. I mean, it's. It's did we do that in the form of motion, or did we just need not to, to put those up? No, okay. we've already, we have actually already. I just want to make sure that we're. They told me we just need to go and make sure we go through the proper channels to get it done. It's just so it's it's notified here. It's in a meeting that it is put up. Cause it could be like at pond or somebody told me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we oh, so. got a person against veterans. I mean, just like over at the cemetery putting up flags a few years back. Somebody chewed out. Well, not, not one time, probably four or five years, I've seen John Barry get his butt chewed out because they didn't put a flag up on their family's grave. And you had no way of knowing necessarily there was a no, because there's no marker there. Well, the marker is Margaret Barry, Margaret sunk, and you can't see it. Though my granddad's over in Old Hartford, it's sunk. You can't see it anymore. Yep. You want to okay. Thing up? We had to dig it We're up. We're good to go, Larry. Yes, we need. We have a guy leaving us uh, on the sanitation route with uh, advertised for employment. <coughs> Jacob Himes. He's leaving? I hate that. Yep. Pretty decent worker. We've actually had a couple of three applications turned in. We can run a paper for a week. If you can put it on social media, then hopefully we can hire before he leaves. When's his last day? Next Tuesday. Oh, next week, but we can't hire before then. <laughs> we get the process going. Uh, we'll see the the and then we, we can see the paper this week. Oh, we have to accept his resignation. <laughs> Do we have to accept his resignation or yeah, he, advertise he, for? He didn't turn in a submittal letter. He just told us verbally. So if you want to accept that. All right. Well, we just need to advertise. Advertise so for. Make a motion. We need to advertise for a new worker, please. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Favor saying for the high. Uh, uh, opposed same. Motion passes. And st standard that. rates pay what you have had. Yeah. Yeah. Pay. That's all that I have. Okay. Entertain a motion to go into closed session. Move. So moved. Second. Need another lazy deal. Okay, you are. Come back in Say it. Why'd you leave that with me? Who do I need to do it with? If I give it to him, I know it's not going to get done. So give it to Larry. I still ain't got my paperwork I'm asking for. Give it to Travis. Travis will fix it. I'll give it to Smart One. I ain't giving it to the dumb one. And you're the dumb one. If you give it to Smart One, give it to Jill. <laughs> okay. Have we gone back in yet? Yeah, we've already. Yeah, we did that. Okay. Entertaining a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. And save that for all this money to keep.